Okay, so if you can believe that we're still on Hello World, we'll move on to something uh, shortly. But I want to show um, maybe one way we can sort of debug this program that might be useful. Um, as you've noticed, we've been using GCC and sort of uh, compiling with the debugging symbols. Uh, let's actually make use of that. So I'll compile uh, link one more time. Uh, and I want to run this in GDB and our Hello program. Okay, so if I do this, I'll get some messages. Uh, let me clear them, um, and let me just go ahead and press R to run the program. So it's starting the program, that says where it's sort of running from. Uh, we get our output, and then our program exits. Okay, so, uh, but we're again running within the GDB environment, which is helping us debug. Um, so if I do uh, Control X and 2, and again I'm sort of pressing Control X and 2, um, Sort of synchronously, I'll go into the TUI mode. Now here, there's you know no program running, so it's sort of complaining. Uh, so I'm going to clear the screen with Control L, um, and let's go back and do this again. Um, so enter Control L to clear the screen, um, and what I want to do is just type list. Okay, so list is going to list out the source code. Okay, L I is another abbreviation, sort of gives me the next uh, ten lines. Um, and I can see the entire program, okay? So I see my sort of, you know, program source code. So that's kind of cool that I can see it in GDP. Um, the next thing I want to actually do is um, insert a breakpoint. Okay, so breakpoint at line one, that means I can sort of pause my program. Okay, so let me sort of uh, press R to run our program, and we're starting it, so this is our first instruction, it's move Q, right? So let's go ahead and look uh, here. So it's at move Q, right? That's where the breakpoint was, the very first uh, sort of instruction that's going to execute. Well, why there? Well, we call this routine right away where we're going to write our hello world. Okay. Um, so now let me actually uh, press S, which steps us forward. Line 19, 20, 21, and we do our syscall. Uh, and then we print out our message, and then exit program is called. Um, so it starts executing that, we move forward, we'll get ready for our syscall next, and then, uh, well, our program's done. Okay, so we just sort of step through our assembly one line at a time. Okay, uh, one other helpful command, so I'll control L and type in BT. This stands for uh, backtrace. Oops, looks like I don't have a uh, stack quite yet. Um, so let's ignore that. Um, and actually, let's just jump into the uh, TUI mode. So uh, I'm going to start uh, running our program again, and then hit Control X and then 2. Okay? So if I did that, this moves us into our text user interface. That's TUI. T U I. Um, Control X O sort of cycles me through these windows, um, and you might have to have a touch for it. But Control X O, you can see I'm moving through the windows. You know, now I'm here uh, versus Control X Zero. I can sort of look through the source code and scroll with my arrow keys. That's kind of neat. Uh, Control X Zero again. I can sort of see line by line what's going on. Okay, so let's kind of uh, execute in this mode. Uh, this will be helpful. So I'm going to keep stepping, and then I can see in my source code uh, exactly what's going on. Uh, so I'm moving 10 into RDX, doing my syscalls, walking, 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 uh, etc. Okay, then my program is done. It says quit debugging the session. Why? Yes. Okay. Um, whoops. Okay, so let's relaunch GDB. Uh, I'm going to do this sort of same experiment, put a breakpoint at 1. Uh, if I don't want any breakpoints, I'll just type clear. Uh, oops, clear 1, and that deletes the breakpoint. Um, and then I can just run as normal. Um, but let's put in that breakpoint, uh, line 1. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to start running. Control X2 to go into TUI mode. I'm going to hit Control X2 one more time, and that's going to show me the actual registers. Okay, so right now I haven't done anything, so everything's zeroed out. Um, so I'm going to hit S, and I notice RX switches to 0x1, that's the hex form, or 1 after. Okay, so if we remember what our 
um, first call is, you know, sort of looking at uh, this window here, oops, um, it is that, uh, you know, or rather, uh, let me just show them the source code here where we're moving one into Rx. Okay, so you can see how the register has changed. Uh, and this is a nice way to sort of give a sanity check of our output. Okay, RDI, we moved one in. Uh, what do you predict next? We're moving in hello string to RSI. Right now it's zero, so I'm expecting it to put some address of wherever you know, dot hello dot stir uh, lives. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, and then it looks like we're going to move 10 into RDX, so this is she 0x10 in there, or excuse me, uh, 0xA for the hexadecimal and 10 for the decimal um, to the right, uh, and so on. Okay, so this is a nice way to debug, Again, I'm hitting Control x 2 to sort of switch views here, and uh, Control x 0 to move around. Oops, and sometimes it uh, crashes here, so I just relaunch. Okay. That's enough for this video on sort of using uh, GDB to debug.